Hi, I'm Vic with Max South Sports. Today we're coming to you from Fulton, Mississippi on the campus of Etiwama Community College. Today we'll be shooting the Open Bass Tournament. This tournament is presented through the fishing team of the Etiwama Community College. They're doing this to promote fishing for the young youth, for the high school students to just get them involved with the fishing tournament. So please stay tuned and enjoy the show. Hey, we're here with Mr. Joseph Webster. Mr. Webster, what does this program mean to the community? Well, you know, a lot of these communities and towns, you know, these, these high school tournaments now is beginning to be a big thing. And, you know, these kids got a lot of opportunity. And, uh, you know, when I was in school, this stuff didn't happen. And, you know, the kind of the, the way I got to where I am is, is the high school wouldn't hit. I worked my way up to the foundation, up to the, you know, the national championship and won it. And then, you know, it sends me on to the tour, you know. But these towns really need to get behind these kids, you know. It keeps them out of a little trouble. And, uh, you know, towns can really benefit from some of this. You know, the revenue from a 100-boat tournament, you know, bring sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 to a town. And, you know, these businesses around these small towns, you know, they can really benefit from it. And, you know, Fulton being one, sitting right here on the waterway, they, they sat on a little bit of a gym here. Most definitely. And how many kids do you have? Well, this tournament here, I think there was 34. And uh, they were from anywhere from, I think, all over Mississippi. And might have been one or two from Tennessee. So... I don't know if we had any from Alabama, but you know, for a first time deal here, just kind of trying to get the community behind it and involved, just a little tournament for them, and you know, we'll try to get some more going with it. And where do you see this? Where do you see this program going in the future? Well, you know, they, these kids nowadays, you know, they come out of high school, they have high school tournaments, and uh, you know, they qualify to go on up, and you know, kids nowadays can get scholarships and everything else, and you know, being here at ICC, these kids here. You know, they fish at the college level. They can move on up from qualifying all the way up to the, you know, some of the national championships. This is Joseph Webster. Thank you. I'm here with Itawamba Community College fishing team member Ty Cox. So, Mr. Ty Cox, how long have you been fishing? I've been fishing since I was probably five, six years old. I've been tournament fishing since I was about 12. Okay, then. So, how do you feel this program has benefiting the team? Man. It's benefiting the team mainly because which we was the we was the first community college ever established a fishing team in Mississippi, and not not so more benefiting the team but benefiting the school. Um, you know there was there's kids that would want to go to a college fishing, but they either had to go to Mississippi State, Ole Miss, a team school around here that had a team. Well now if a kid that wants to, or I say a kid a kid that wants to fish. On, the, on a fishing team at a school now has the option to come to the community college if they don't want to go to the four-year school. Mr. Ty Cox, thank you. All right, our next team is Morable Troopers. They got a five-bass limit. We got Mitchell Tharp and Harrison Henry from Morville. Oh, new leaders out here. Nine. Welcome. 9.93. 9.93, new leaders. All right, Mr. Crescent. I'm here with the Bone Tournament Fish with the winners of the Bone Tournament, Mitchell and Pierce. How long have you guys been fishing? Oh, uh, we've been fishing ever since we were little. And uh, we just got this little team together at Morville. And uh, I guess we've been to, doing pretty good with it here lately. Yeah, pretty much with Pierce. I've been fishing for pretty much as long as I can remember. Yeah, just like being in the course. Yeah, was it a tough morning out there? Uh, it wasn't a tough morning, and then after it got towards uh, after about 10 o'clock, it got pretty tough. Yeah, I got pretty bored there for about an hour straight. So, what you guys plan on doing with the winners? Ah, uh, I don't know yet. Figure, put in fishing stuff. Probably spending on something that I shouldn't. <laughs> That's Mitchell and Pierce. Thank you. <laughs> 